So Jens Kopka, we're here with MotoClick. You're the CEO. Can you just explain to me what it is and how you think it'll be able to help everyone from professionals to amateurs with your suspension? Yeah, certainly Jonathan. So this is the MotoClick TW 1.0 system and it's a suspension data and lap timing system built exclusively for motocross. What we're testing here today is a new software development that we have. So AI is a very hot topic at the moment and we have an AI setup software built into this product now which recommends clicker adjustments for the track conditions. So we spent five and a half years to develop the product that we have here today and what it does is it measures the suspension movement on the front and on the rear and also the satellite position of the bike. Once all that data is recorded, you can download it to your smartphone, either Android or iPhone over Bluetooth. And then it's really easy to work with the data in the app to see your lap times and how the suspension moves. So another step on from that is the AI setup. So what this does is it automatically analyzes the suspension data. Firstly, it uh, identifies if the spring tension, spring preload, spring rate is okay, and also if the valving is within specification or not. So sometimes that can highlight if it's too stiff or too soft. And if everything checks out okay, then we can go through to the recommended clicker settings, which will give a recommendation for the current track conditions and the rider's riding style and how much to go in or out with the compression clickers uh, and the high and low speed on the rear shock also. And the ease of use seems quite impressive from what we've seen today, especially for a rider who is maybe too scared to play with the clickers himself. This has given you exact what to do, whether to go too in, too softer for both the front and rear. So it's, it's pretty accurate and there doesn't seem to be a lot of margin for error, which is good for your average rider. That's exactly it. We've built this product for everyone. So in our market research, we found that over 90% of riders don't actually know what to do with the clickers. So we're working to address that problem. But as you said, the ease of use, this product is made to fit on the bike without making any modification to the bike. So everything is really easy to fit and quick to set up. And then also the app, you don't have to be any engineer or scientist to use it either. It's all very intuitive on how it works and easy to work with. And where do you see this product going? What are the, what are the goals for it and how far do you think you can take this? Because even for the likes of pro riders and technicians at the professional level, this can be very useful as well. It's showing you each individual corner, how the suspension is working as well with graphs. So it's very detailed, but also the ease of use is pretty impressive as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the use of data in motorsport is very common outside of off-road motorcycling. And the reason for that, I believe, is because of the previous sensor technology that existed. It wasn't really up to task and robust enough to last in off-road motorcycling. But while it is very good for tarmac, uh, for tarmac use, uh, so when it comes to the system, it's applicable to everybody from the amateur rider all the way up to the professional rider And we can offer that real insight then to help with decision making uh, for a race around the weekend If they want to see if an inside line or an outside line is faster or if they're working with their suspension technician and trying to Identify a problem this gives objective information so that they can say in this corner at this point. This is exactly uh, what the suspension did and how fast it moved in meters per second as well So you can see both the position of the suspension and how fast the suspension is moving And just underline the level of this product you have Stuart Edmonds Professional British motocross rider race Grand Prix before on regular motocross of nations rider for Ireland He's helped you with this product so the, the quality is very high and he's very happy with it Absolutely, yeah, so Stuart has been uh, brilliant to work with over the last number of years So we're working on this project for five and a half years together at this stage and through his uh, work and development we were able to make sure that the parts were up to test that they'd last on the bike and also that the information that we're given is what the rider really wants to see so as you said it's been used at uh, professional level up into the british championship and uh, obviously Stuart, a very capable rider racing in the motocross the nations and having scored gp points as well in the past and are you looking to bring this to the pro levels, the likes of AMA and, and GPs? What are your conversations with the teams there? I know you've been yeah, working absolutely. hard that We'd direction. We'd love to speak with any teams who'd be interested in taking this a little bit further. Um, so we are open to uh, any discussion that you'd like to have. I'm sure there's a number of ways that we can support. Another aspect is our online dashboard. So what that means is that a uh, suspension technician doesn't have to travel to every race with the team. So if you had a flyaway race in Indonesia or in Argentina and you wanted to support your riders remotely, that's possible through the online dashboard where you can upload the data from the track and then your uh, team back at base can have a look and see what's going on and help the rider that way also. And what are your goals for the future with this? How much more 
progression can you have with the product? Uh, there's a number of uh, avenues we can go down. What we'd really love to do with off-road motorcycling is to become an OEM supplier so that this system is actually fitted on the bike uh, straight from the factory. So we believe there's a still a lot of uh, optimization that can be done with the design if we were to build the sensors directly into the frame of the bike or into the suspension itself. And we're really solving this problem that 90% of riders have where they don't know how to set suspension properly. So it's a great shame that I, I believe that companies like WP, Showa, KYB, Olins, they spend all of this research and development time and money, send the product out to the market and then customers are just too afraid to go near, they don't know how to get the most from it. So we'd really like to help them with that and we believe that this product is designed in such a way that it can be implemented into an OEM supply chain and be on the bike straight from the factory. So this is really a cheat code to get the, the perfect <laughs> suspension set up then? Uh, well, I won't say cheating, but it's uh, it's allowed by the FYM rules, but uh, definitely it's a, it's a big advantage over everything that's been done until now. So um, yeah, we're, we're working to develop it all the time, come up with settings all the time. So we spent the last number of months and years recording the data from the track with uh, riders of every level. So uh, there's another elderly gentleman here behind me today, Alan Cranston, he's, in, uh, he's nearly 70 years old and he was testing with us. We have Richard here today, who is a more average rider. And then of course, Stuart Edmonds then races at the professional level. So it works with every, with every rider, you know. Perfect, Jans, thank you very much. Great, thanks, the Jonathan. Funny enough, um, I, I don't even know, like, I think it's about six or seven years ago now, um, Jens came to me with the idea and I said, look, well, let's have a little meeting and sit down. And I wanted to kind of discuss what exactly he was talking about and as soon as he said suspension that, I was like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. As soon as you have anything going, I'll do all the amount of testing that I can possibly do. I can help you um, produce the products so you can get it to durable and put some ideas and inputs and like, his his brain alone is just like it's, I'm actually learning quite a bit on yeah. track as well from him because okay. he's a different thought process to me and he's kind of looking from the outside in in a different um different way and I'm learning stuff and he probably doesn't even notice himself I'm learning stuff from him <laughs> um and then with the, the obviously the feedback from the motor click we're we're gaining a lot of traction yeah. in in such a short period of time but as I said I'm asking for too much myself sometimes yeah. so I have to just keep looking back on hold on January I was like here and now I'm here yeah. so. But yeah, Jens has been really, really good and the motor click is absolutely phenomenal. And to be able to do what it's doing at the minute and the progress that's happening is, is crazy. And I don't think anyone that gets it that doesn't get a, a like a, a benefit out of it, I think like, yeah, they're, they're doing something wrong, like straight away you stick it on your bike and just getting your lap times alone and the data from the, the lap times and your suspension combined gives you a massive, like massive input on like increasing speed, increasing stability on the bike and being able to ride faster for longer and then obviously feel, feeling more comfortable and and sometimes in myself i get a bit like caught up and i'm like oh i don't know if it's too hard i don't know if it's too soft mm -hmm. and to be able to go right i need to look at the, the data and i look at the data and you can tell straight away oh yeah it's actually too hard or it's too yeah. soft and it'll relay back information mm -hmm. as well so yeah it's an asset for me to have on, on my team and we also have the suspension uh section in the app and you can go in and it'll give you all the data of the su suspension moving in and out uh, and then it'll give recommendations based on the the conditions and it'll tell you what your spring rate uh, it feels your spring rate is uh, doing whether it's uh, the right spec for you and then you can make clicker changes so uh, I found it has given good information so far but I would like to get another session with it today and uh, I'll hopefully update in the next well, it, 20 minutes. It gave you pretty accurate information so it was saying your spring was too hard and then it was also able to give you clickers what to adjust specifically for the terrain which can vary between hard and sand and you can adjust that on the app yeah so you can set it to low and high um sensitivity so you could put it to high and it'll tell you to back your clickers a, a, a long way off uh, but we we went to a middle setting uh, which was telling me to take five clicks off the front suspension uh, to make it softer so we're just going to uh, go and test that now. And for an amateur rider who doesn't have a lot of technical help in terms of suspension gurus, you know, they're not, you aren't GP riders or the whole team to, to adjust your suspension. How useful will this be on a, a race day for you? Track obviously changes a lot between practice, especially by third moto, and between practice and every race, this is going to give you specific information on how your suspension is set up. It must be pretty advantageous for you. Absolutely. Um, I could see it. You, you go on a race day and you just start um, get out and practice, and it'll give you a base setting. Uh, and then every every session, you'd just be making some fine fine adjustments, and then you'll know yourself how 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 you're feeling and how how the bike feels. Um, 
and that can be a pretty big advantage because a lot of people don't have this at the minute so the first guys to get this is going to be getting a bit of a head start well it's just it's just going to help it will give you the ideal setup for you and also for that track so you know you know if you, uh, i i think down the line you would you would be using it just to sort of back up what you're you're thinking yourself you know you would get you would become a better rider and a better uh, test rider just by using the system and you would make the make the changes that it recommends and then uh, you can go from there and how have you been with suspension previously been able to set it up yourself do you think this will this brings a lot of accuracy because it looks like you can get lost quite easily as an amateur rider trying to set suspension up track oh, to track definitely, definitely got lost plenty in the past um i've tried my best always try to set the sag and set it up in the, the recommended settings i've had my suspension done a few times by different suspension tuners who give you like a little sheet of the they're recommended you know for sand or for hard pack and i've always tried to follow that but i wouldn't have strayed very far from that but where, where the app today was telling me to go five clicks softer was a big that was a big change you know i wouldn't have done i wouldn't i would never have done that but so Jans, what were your views on the test day from your technical perspective with richard and what were you able to show him and what were you able to glean from from his riding yeah i was really happy to get out here with richard today because i think richard is a very typical rider of what you see at tracks all over the world um you know a rider with a good ability but uh, not at the professional level as well so uh really representative of most riders out there and when i was watching the bike go around at the start of the day um the chassis looked to be moving quite a bit in some sections of the track so i i think you'd agree richard that when you're coming into the turns you would felt some skittishness and stuff beforehand from different hard pack circuits would that be correct yeah yeah and um, yeah so then uh the first thing after the first session when we downloaded the data uh, what it highlighted was that maybe the front spring rate is a little bit too stiff and that would tie in with that skittishness coming into the corner so basically what's happening is rather than the uh, suspension being able to absorb the bumps it's uh, deflecting off them and won't give you that control so um, it was nice then also when Richard said after that that you know that this was an issue for you so like how long have you had this bike and, and been experiencing that problem or uh, Probably all my motocross career, I've always struggled with sort of front end feel and that coming into the corner that you know what the front end's going to do. Um, I've had this bike for a year and I did get the suspension set up, but it's in, it's just very interesting to see that it's 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 telling me that the spring rate is still uh, it's probably one rate too high. So I think that'll be next on my list to drop a spring rate and then test again and hopefully I'll see a good a good improvement and a good benefit. And I think also then Richard, so I don't know what your work background is, if you work as a mechanic or anything like that, but uh, in terms of how to fit the system here onto the bike, like I think most motocross riders are able to oil filters and oil chain and all that kind of stuff, you know, they have some mechanical ability. But how do you feel about how the system goes onto the bike? Do you think there's any challenges with it or? Not really, it all seems to work with parts that are already on the bike. There's like the, the little brake, um, mass, uh, the brake line guide and then there's the rear brake line guide and then there's sensors are cable tied on and there's good guards uh, with every part of it uh, so it's protected from stone damage and everything seems to be fairly straightforward um, you have the main, main box and then the uh, other control unit uh, and it all seems to just everything's fitted with cable ties and you can see there's there's still room on the bars it's not uh, a really big unit or anything so it all seems to fit together quite well yeah and we designed this system so that it can be left on the bike all the time as well so you don't need to put it on and take it off and you can uh, wash it after use and everything like that uh, did, did you notice the system on the bike when you're riding uh, richard did you feel any different than normal never noticed anything or felt anything different at all no yeah, it all seemed to just be it was just there doing its thing. And, yeah. So yeah. that that was part of the design philosophy of this product was that you know it's not going to impact your riding. You can still ride exactly how you did before, but now you've just got the information to have confidence on the bike and feel comfortable and set those fast lap times. Hopefully. Yeah. And just as well, there's no wires with this, so this is all on your phone and can be done yeah, remotely through. Yeah, so no need to plug in or anything like that, or need to have a laptop. It's just all on the phone or tablet. It works on as well. So. I think, Richard, that's something that, that you like. You can sit there in the chair and just yeah. connect and, and look at the data. Yeah, you see what what recommendations it was making, and uh, you can do those and then go and try it, try again. Perfect, thank you. And do you think this will eventually lead to better lap times? What are your perceptions on that? 
Uh, definitely, yeah. I would always be uh, quite cautious. Um, you, you'd sort of ride at eighty percent. You know, if you, if you don't feel uh, comfortable on the bike, or if, if you know, as the track deteriorates and stuff, I guess uh, it can get very sort of dangerous feeling. Nearly, you know, I would always uh, back off and and be more be more conservative and not hang it out. So uh, I would only really be pushing when I'm when I have that comfort level. So if I could get to that comfort level, you. Yeah, it would definitely be a big benefit and I would think I would probably have more, much more consistent lap times and increased speed too. And essentially safer as well, right? Because your bike's going to be more yeah. predictable? Yeah, well, it's more predictable and you know just when you when you go to turn into a corner it's it's going to react um, as you want it rather than it's trying to fight you into the corner or something like that. Exactly, very good. Thank you. So Richard, you just had your session there after the adjustments with the, the MotoClick app. How did you find the improvements? Uh, definitely I could feel, feel the improvement. I could feel the suspension moving more. We took five clicks off the front and a few clicks off the back. I could feel the bike moving, uh, the suspension moving more. When I was hitting a lot, there's a lot of stutter bumps, sharp bumps today. And uh, it was, it would be hitting the bike quite hard and y you were really trying to sort of bulldog through it where when I made those adjustments, I felt like I could go through them and it just wasn't as much fighting that I was having to do. I could feel the suspension moving more. I felt like the bike was more level. So uh, that's just the first session after. So it's uh, good, good uh, progress so far. Good, good job. to see what the app says now to log in and see if it says any further. Uh, yeah, we're, improvements. for people who don't know then you can check your lap times and your sections and, and yeah, see what the suspension is doing. And analyse each section by section, you can see just, uh, and, and even your line choice, you can zoom right in, you can see which line was quicker, inside, outside. Uh, yeah, so it's all, it's yeah, good, good progress so far. I think I'll maybe try and do one more session and good job. see how we go. Perfect.